guys, you're back with me, Tara Omidi here from Plant Sumo. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an account for free with TeamUp. So the website is goteamup.com. Goteamup.com is a free software that allows you to uh, rely on your management um, being controlled by this software. It's easier booking and it's just a great software to get new members on board, to join your classes to manage your classes and to kind of run your business throughout this software. It's a great software. The features are absolutely incredible. If you've not watched the review of TeamUp, please go and do that and kind of look at some of the features that we discussed, what TeamUp has to offer, uh, look at the pricing and things like that. However, the great thing is with TeamUp, you can try it for free and it allows you to just have a little browse over the dashboard, see what you can expect um, and what features may be a real success for your business or management. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try it for free today so we get, a you know, just a over eye, uh, an over eye, an overlook at what we can expect and what the layout's going to look like. And let's just see how easy and simple it is to do um, what this software does. So is it easy to book? Is it easy to plan? Is it going to be a success for your, you know, online classes? This is one thing that I love about um, the software as well. With the pandemic, clearly affecting everything at the moment you can actually integrate zoom with team up so it allows you to run your classes through zoom and integrate it with team up as well so you can do your classes online and it just means that you've always got your members on board and throughout a global pandemic your business will not be affected so we're going to head over to the try it free option and get signed in so if you want to just use this for a personal profile, you can do that. You can create a personal account. Um, and that would be if you're just kind of looking at trying to book a class. Um, if it's not actually, you know, a business that you're trying to manage through this, you just want to browse at other businesses and be able to jump on board and book classes. You can just click this link here and it'll allow you to create your personal account. Today, we're going to create the team up business account. So if we just press this option, and then we have got 33 days to trial it. So that's going to give us a really good overview and a really good analysis of whether it's effective for our business and whether it's something, you know, you are intrigued in and you want to continue and go forward with this. So you've got 33 days um, and all we're going to do is just fill out all this information. So your name, your email address, uh, creating a password, business name, and whereabouts you are, and how did you hear about Go Team Up? I'm going to just fill this out quickly. And um, before I do that, if you give this video a thumbs up, you know, comment, subscribe to our channel, all that lovely stuff, um, and we'd be so grateful for you sharing our channel. If there's any reviews or tutorials you're really interested in, and you want us to do those, please just comment below what you want to see on this channel, and we'll do that for you. So I'm going to go ahead now and fill out all these details and I'll be right back with you. So we've just logged in, we've just put our email and everything in and then it just brings up this little notification to invite you to set up a call with the customer team. If you want to do that, you can just press book a call or to go directly to the dashboard, which is what we're going to do in this video. I'm just going to click see the dashboard. So as you can see, we've got all these uh, features and options that we can do here at the side. So straight away, the number one thing jumping out to me is COVID-19 tools. So I feel like we should just click that because right now, this is going to be effective to so many different businesses. So as I was discussing before, you the best feature about um, Go Team Up is the fact that it can integrate with zoom which will just allow you to kind of use meetings over it or you can actually best case do your online classes via zoom integrated with go team up so it just means that you're always going to have your members on board you're not going to lose interest from your members and yeah everyone can just get involved even best from the comfort of their own home even best even at best <laughs> speak even at best from the comfort of their own home so they don't have to get dressed if they don't want to 
fancy doing a bit of yoga right let's get the laptop on integrate with zoom and there we have it <laughs> we've got our members in class so if you want a bit more detail about that you've got two options you can either watch a video which kind of just shows you a breakdown of how you can integrate zoom with go team up or you can read the guide on how to do it as well and it just gives you a bit more information on you know how that works and what the process of that is you've got all your guides and resources um you've got let's have a look so you can extend expiration dates you can cancel classes you can hold custom memberships which is obviously a great thing right now because finances may be a bit difficult for people at the minute due to COVID and, you know, loss of jobs and things like that. So you could also put their uh, memberships on hold. Um, it just keeps all your customers and your members happy. And yeah, it, it's just going to be a nice little incentive to keep people interested in, the, in your business there. So you've got that option as well. Um, okay, let's have a look at what else it offers. I absolutely love how everything now is just turning remote so nobody's going to be out of business. It makes me so happy seeing all this. So you've got your activity feed, obviously, you know, showing uh, what's going on um, with what customer, um, what the membership's saying at the minute. So does it need renewing? Is it due for renewal? You know, are they in, are they in, in inactive customer you know do you need to kind of reel them back in again all this is going to pop up on the activity feed then you've got your to do's so obviously if there's anything kind of invoices that need paying or invoices that have failed and you need to chase it up all this kind of stuff is going to come up on the to do page so you've got um refunds open invoices all that stuff there and as you can see, you've got your calendars to schedule your classes or your meetings, whatever it may be that you're using this for. Um, so you can do that with your calendar. You've got your classes so you can see what's running when. You've got your courses, your membership. You've got your billing so you can see kind of your, um, let's have a look at billing actually. So you can see what to expect, um, you know, with your members what customers um, paid, um, how they processed the payment, all that stuff. So you've got all the billing information there. Again, pending, failed, the reports, the payouts, all that stuff there. And then you have got forms and documents. So you kind of uh, do your sign-up forms, your non-participating sign-up form. You've got pre-registration purchase forms, contact forms, emergency forms, customer forms. Um, all that stuff there and there's just so many different features so store notification custom experience obviously settings if you need to change anything in your account staff so let's have a look at staff so um this will show where you can add staff members so if you obviously if you're just not on your own doing this business you've got a few staff members you can add all these um here so you just literally click that button and then you can just put all your staff's information in there. If you want to limit their uh, permissions, you can do that. If you want to make them admin, so like you, they've got full control over everything, you can select admin. So that would just mean that basically everything on GoTeamUp is not just heavily reliant on yourself. You know, you can kind of distribute jobs to each staff member and you can all just participate through that. And yeah, so that's how you do that. You can uh, tick if it's uh, an instructor for a certain class. You can do that. Um, you can upload photo images so you know who you're talking to. You can select discount codes. So if they can distribute discount codes to people, all this fun stuff. So there is so much that you can do with Team Up. And, you know, it's... Uh, sorry, I'll just show you really quickly as well. Once you've finished, um, you know, sorting out, adding your staff members... All you'd then do is just after ticking everything, what you're happy with them allowing permissions and things, just press create and that will add your staff member to the dashboard. So there's so much to go through. I feel like that we could be here for hours talking about this. So if you would like me to do another video focusing on just a just one kind of aspect to this or, you know, go over something I've not really covered, please do comment in the box below and I'll get right back to you with that. Um, with more clarification 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like us, share us, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for coming over to Plant Sumo today. I've been Tyrell Media and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye guys.